Hello Nuxter, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to dive deep into the heart of Nuxt.js. We are going to explore the whole ecosystem built around Nuxt and that you can use in other projects as well. It doesn't have to be view specific on Nuxt, you can just take it and you can use it anywhere. By end of this video, you will get a whole pack of packages that can make your day easier. We are talking about Unjs family of utility libraries and framework created around Nuxt. When the Nuxt team started working on Nuxt 3, they have built this initiative to make a framework agnostic libraries that can be used regardless of what framework you are using. Isn't this awesome? What you see in front of you is the website of Unjs. So Unjs stands for Unified JavaScript Library and here you will see a whole lot of packages uh, that you might have heard, you might have heard inside Nuxt as a as an import or as they are how they are using it. But now we'll get to know a few of the packages that are used inside Nuxt and that uh, that you can also use inside your projects as well. So let's click on Explore the Universe, and as you go to the page, you will see a bunch of library, right? We'll not cover all of them, but we'll I'll show you some of them that that is you know that is a very useful and that i think you should know if you are using nuxt uh, for building your websites so the first one is change login so let's open the documentation and let's see so using it you can use it inside your react project view project your any kind of a node.js project that you have and that you're using git to manage your version so you can use change login in that to create the readme file and i'll show you how what type of a readme file you can create with that so this library if you are if you were wondering or if you were doing it manually now is the time to automate that using the change login all right so the next package that we're going to talk about is uh, h3 so let's search for the h3 package so h3 is a very minimal http framework that is very high performant and portable what do i mean by that so you see there are framework like express firstify right these are all you know we use as a backend framework so next needed a feature to provide the server side uh, server route facility so they have created this awesome h3 h3 framework with a bunch of utilities that you can use to create your own api Creating and using it is very easy. So just like how you use Express, you first uh, you import the create server, then you get your app, and then you start using the route, right? You can use the app use, you can add your middleware in it, and then basically you will get the event handler function that you can also use inside Nux. This is where it comes from, right? And then you'll get your router option and and there are a bunch of utility function that we often use in Nuxt, but we don't know where it is coming from. Now you know. I highly recommend you to go to go and see the documentation. Try to build some sort of a simple APIs and see how it perform against Express and framework like Firstify. I have checked it, and to me, for me, for a basic Mongo and a h3 uh, rest api h3 and nitro the combination of h3 and nitro always surpass the competition so let's go back and let's see uh, some of the other packages nitro where do i start about this particular framework so as they say create web server that runs anywhere the open the open engine powering Nuxt and open to everyone. Exactly. That's why I love Nuxt. So what you are getting is the, the server part of your, of your Nuxt. If you don't want the UI, if you don't want to use view, you just want the server utilities, you know, to build the API, you get it right here. You install Nitro, you build a bunch of APIs. So let me, let me, let me simplify this for you. So H3 is a very minimal http library right on top of that we have nitro so nitro will give you the file based routing the auto importing all that and h3 is basically the simple http part 
So if you stack up, H3 will come first and then on top of that, we'll have Nitro. All right, as you can see, we have a bunch of other packages, IPX, which the next images use. If you don't give any provider, it always default back to IPX, which, you know, build on top of Sharp. If you are using, if you have used the Node.js library, you'd know what Sharp is. So it uh, generates the optimized image on runtime, which is awesome. Then you have all the parts, all the smaller parts that makes Nuxt what next is even you will see the radix 3 you know what this thing is this is what powers the dynamic routing if you want to know more about dynamic routing i have made a video and you can just check that out how the dynamic routing work so that dynamic routing is, is created using a algorithm called radix 3 if you want to know more i'll put some uh, explanation link of the algorithm in the description so check that out and this is what powers our dynamic route just like that we have 53 distinct packages that runs the next three framework each of these packages deserve its own video so do let me know in the comment if you would like to see a crash course about a few of these packages these tools are just tip of the iceberg in unjs ecosystem i encourage you to explore these tools and other packages and see how they can elevate your project regardless of what framework you use that being said i would like to end this video here and i want you to try it yourself this is shahid i'll meet you in the next one till then stay blessed stay happy and keep coding bye